Row crop sales such as soybean, corn, and wheat account for over $15 million annually in Smith County. Today we visit George McDonald with Katisa Farms to learn about row crop production in Tennessee. Hello, I'm George McDonald. I'm the fourth generation farmer here at Katisa Farms. My great grandfather started Katisa Farms in 1927. At that point in time, he was farming 257 acres with three full-time employees here on our farm. Today, Katisa Farms encompasses a little over 7,000 acres. We are farming in six different counties today. Our operation consists of corn, soybeans, wheat, strawberries, and watermelons. We are a little different than a lot of farms in our area in the fact that we're more vertically integrated. And what I mean by that is, is we try to maximize our profit by saving on the front end and marketing higher on the back end. And by doing this, what we do is, is we buy, for example, fertilizer. We have a fertilized plant that we do our own blending with. We have a grain facility that we store grain. We have specialty markets that we sell our corn to. We have specialty markets that we sell wheat. And in the process of not only that, by being involved with the produce, with the strawberries and watermelons, what we gain from that is, is a better utilization of our labor, plus we spread some time out throughout the season of doing different things. We're also with produce who are not directly connected to the commodity market, so that takes out some of the volatility that we have with our grain being corn, wheat, and soybeans. Our watermelons that we grow are direct shipped to a major uh, grocery chain. We supply to about 50 stores in the Nashville market, about a dozen stores in the Knoxville market, and Cookville and Crossville, Tennessee. Our strawberries are marketed local, as many of you know, who we appreciate your business that you've given us through the years here at Katisa Farms. We sell locally. We have people who sell on a commission for us. We have youth organizations who sell our strawberries as a fundraiser. And then we market through high-end uh, retailers in the Nashville market. Today involved in the operation, we have eight full-time employees. My daughter, Sarah Owen, is the fifth generation to be involved in our farming operation. I'm very fortunate at what I do. I love what I do. It's not a job for me. It's something I look forward to getting up to every day and going to. And it's like I tell people, we have no one who really works for us. We all work together. And it's not a job for our employees. It's a place we all go to earn a living for our families at. When I think about what I enjoy the most, I look back to my FFA days about a speech I give in 1978. And that is, there's a pride of accomplishment when involved in farming that no other job in the world can offer. I still believe that to this day. There are challenges to it. In our operation, yes, we're a family farm. Yes, it's my family heritage. But first and foremost, though, our farming operation is a business for us. When we start looking at challenges that we encounter in our farming operation, one of the challenges we constantly have is labor for produce because it's backbreaking hard work. We have to do utilize some government programs to get employees in to do that part of uh, harvesting for our products, for our produce, whether it be strawberries or watermelons. Another issue that we run into sometimes is just logistics. Being scattered out like we are, we do have issues in getting equipment moved and to different locations. We've been very blessed and very fortunate to do it safely. We try to respect other people on the roads when we're moving because I too don't like to get behind a lot of farm equipment going slow down the road, but it's just part of what we do. And during the COVID-19 that we've all been experiencing, I think it's done one good thing for agriculture and some other industries, is people's taken a little different appreciation of what it is to have a safe and bountiful supply of food. You know, we get excited, we overreact to a lot of things, but it has been good that people realize that, you know, it's pretty nice to have our food grown locally, pretty nice to have our food grown in the U.S. so we know what it is, how it was produced, and what products have been used on it. I think agriculture is an industry 
that is wide open because usually when people think of someone being involved in agriculture, they think traditionally think of someone farming. And it's only a man's world, not anymore. Women and men alike are involved in agriculture. And agriculture is much more than doing physical work. Agriculture can be involved in GPS and GIS technology. All the technologies that we use on our operation are mind-boggling even to me to this day. I would give the advice to that young person to explore that career in agriculture and see what you really like doing. For example, if you like growing produce, start out with strawberries, something that's a high dollar revenue crop, very expensive to grow, but once again, you put the work into those specialty products, you can get involved in it. When you start looking at the row crop operation side of our of Katisa Farms, I love that part of it too, but it's a very capital, very expensive uh, operation to get involved in. But like always, do not go past what your skill set is. You'll have to expand that along the way, but reach out and talk to those people who've been involved in it and who have been successful about it. Who cares what they talk about at the store or on social, social media? Talk to the people who have done it. I would uh, belittle myself if I didn't close like I usually close when I have different civic groups here. You know, this morning when you got up, you had a lot of things you were worrying about. You was worrying about what the weather was going to be like. You was worrying about the COVID-19 cases. You was worried about how you was going to get accomplished what you had to for work. You was worried about what the kids was going to be doing. You was worried about did you have gas in the car. We have never had so many things to worry about as a society. But the thing that I always want to remember and want to remind people of is that when we have plenty of things, when there's plenty of food, there's lots of problems. But when there is no food, there is only one problem. Thanks to George McDonald with Katisa Farms for educating us about row crop production in Tennessee. Be sure and check out more of our Meet a Farmer Monday videos on our Smith County Extension YouTube page.